So I'll leave you with this last song and uh, say thank you so much to Penny for having me and, and having all of us in your home. It's a, it's a, it's a big deal and, and, you know, basically the question is, do I want to clean house for this artist? So I appreciate it, Penny. Thank you very much. Absolute pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks to you all for coming out. Mm. You wish me bon voyage, eh? Absolutely. Mm. It's been a good tour, Audrey. Oh, absolutely. Gee whiz, I haven't been home in five years, and uh, the gift is that I get to see Australia as a foreigner would. You know, I never thought that I would get to see my own country with new eyes and uh, hear the accent. <laughs> what accent? I, I felt like a foreigner in my in my own country. It's a but that's a really great thing because uh, it gives you a new appreciation. The birds are beautiful, food fantastic. <laughs> the people? Oh, absolutely great. Because honestly, we'd be on the trams in Melbourne and uh, looking lost and confused, and people were very friendly to me. I'm Australian. You know, it's not like they were responding to the American accent of my husband. So, uh, yeah. The only, the only shocker was the expense of everything. Incredibly expensive here and in Australia. Maybe we're spoilt in America, but uh, things have certainly gone up in price a lot. That was a. I didn't anticipate that. Since I've been living in Nashville, I've uh, learnt quite a lot about myself. I've learnt that, I've learnt that I'm not that ambitious. I'm very passionate about music and, and, and playing, but. Uh, I'd rather follow the muse than chase the buck as a songwriter. Still, the idea of shuffling down to the mailbox in your pyjamas and slippers to pick up a big fat royalty check because someone recorded one of your songs. <laughs> Not a bad idea. Yeah. So it's good to keep your antenna up, you know, for the opportunity to pitch a song to somebody. The publishers on Music Row, they get an email every week. It's a list of uh, artists, you know, that are looking to record and seeking songs. And it might say something like, you know, Gretchen Wilson, looking for songs about Jack Daniels. Brad Pitt, wants songs about tits. <laughs> the funniest one that I heard was uh, Cher, looking for good country songs. <laughs> <Huh? laughs> I figure she got a new pair of chaps. <laughs> Want an album to go with it. <laughs> I was sitting at my kitchen table in East Nashville, had a spare 10 minutes. I thought, I'll read The Tennessean. Twice. The big story of the day was about Faith Hill celebrating a big birthday. You know Faith Hill, the beautiful Mrs. Tim McGraw. Mm -hmm. The story was about how gracefully she's ageing. We must agree. She very graciously shared her secret to ageing gracefully. It's available to all of us in this virtual world. You get less Photoshop work done on your publicity sheets. Hmm? Like less retouching done on your photos. Leaving a few grey hairs. Every year she leaves in a few crow's feet. Every year, she leaves in a few bags under the eyes after a night out on Broadway with Tim McGraw and Jack Daniels. I never thought I'd say this out loud. Faith Hill, I have a song for you. I got a black dog's blood on my hands. I got a circus monkey on my back. He is the plane. I'm 40. I got battle scars around my eyes. I got old boyfriends with bitchy wives. I look back and I wonder why I'm 40. I got a tendency to dirt and rust. My 
God's the only thing I trust. I'm 40. I got one good man who's learning fast. I got two girlfriends born to last. I can tell wheat from chaff. I'm 40. All right, here's your part. You ready?